looking to start something? Cause I'll finish it. As long as you put the fleet first, we won't have any problems. All right, Jazz. What do you got? According to the latest, the comm spike is being developed at UC Star Station SY920. Location undisclosed. Fantastic. So how do we disclose it? We could lean on your smuggling contact. Call in that favor. You know who I mean. Our friend on Jimson. Nice one, Jazz. I'll make the arrangements. All right, Rook. Next stop, New Atlantis. Your connection is Juan Dayu. She's got most of the premium UC smuggling routes locked down tight. If you don't piss her off, she should be able to sneak you past SY920's security. Just remember to count your fingers after you shake hands with her. Don't worry. We know how to deal with her type. I sure hope so. But she might be our only crack at finding a decent decryption device. Once Juan gets you past the guard dogs, it's gonna be on you to locate the comm spike. According to the data we have, it's in the prototype phase, meaning there should only be a single device aboard the station. Basically, you break it, you bought it. You'd better. For your sake. Oh, and one more thing. SY920 is a UC military installation. That means it's guarded by heavily armed troops. And we both know those idiots don't mess around. If you intend to turn the place into a shooting gallery, you might want to be sure you're hauling an arsenal, because you're gonna need it. Perfect. That's what I like to hear. Okay, so I'm gonna arrange a meeting with Juan at Kay's place in the well. In the meantime, I'll make sure Jazz comes up with a solution to the electromagnetic atmosphere problem at Bannock 4. Oh, okay. You'll make sure. More like get drunk while Jazz does all the hard work. Typical. Privileges of rank, my darling. We'll discuss it a little later. And you, get the hell out of here. And don't come back without that comm spike in your cargo bay. Stay sharp, Rook. I have something I need to discuss with you. Remember our last conversation, when you told me the artifacts made you feel like you were being pulled across the entire galaxy? Well, it got me thinking. So I dove into our archives and started looking through Constellation's older journal entries. Just because I wasn't familiar with the experience you described, doesn't mean the same might have been true for my predecessor. Really? I'm surprised that I haven't. After reading those journals, all of the pleasant memories of my time spent with Arja just started flooding back. There's no reason to be jealous. They were just, I don't know, different times. Aja was the one that taught me the ropes at Constellation and took me under her wing as her protege. Hey, so I pinched a few ideas from my old boss. 
Can you blame me? At any rate, we logged quite a few discoveries together, but it was the actual journey that I cherished the most. Exactly. For me, it was all about the quieter moments. There was nothing quite like sitting back and watching space bend while listening to Aja spin vivid stories to fill the time. Oh, I find that sort of cozy isolation the best way to really get to know someone. I'll take that as a compliment. Thank you. You know, all this talk about Aja reminds me that my time with her was a gift. I miss her dearly. I respected her, and I considered her a dear friend, but we weren't in love. Had that been true, I would have resigned my post and moved to Parima 2 instead of remaining at Constellation. Come to think of it, if we're ever out that far, perhaps we could pay her a visit and I could make proper introductions. Well, I don't expect you to be a carbon copy of Aja. Just be yourself. You see, it's clear that we share the same hunger to discover what's out there. And that, well, that's what intrigues me about you. I... I don't know if I deserve to be that close to anyone right now. If you knew about the things that I've done, the way my life's unfolded, I think your opinion of me might change. Please, give me some time. I, 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 I have to go. Yeah? I don't know about you, but I think the welcome sign really lends itself to the alluring charm. What can I help you with? Rook.
Switching over to standard engines. You are entering United Colony space. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Scan complete. You're... So, were you eating at the Sage Brook, or is it just a quick snap from the Terra Brew? Yes? Yeah, huh? It's a quench. Don't mind me. Just... Oh, Henrik is an old friend of mine. I help out around here from time to time. But I don't just loiter around. I'm involved in my own business endeavor as well. Unfortunately, I'm quite old-fashioned. I only deal with associates that I know and trust. But... If you do a small favor for me, I might feel comfortable opening my business up to you. All you need to do is pick up a package from Red Mile and deliver it to me. You don't even need to interact with anyone. Fantastic. I eagerly await your return. Stay out of trouble. No lawyer can't say I'll have what you need. You see something you like, just say the word. Take care.
Take your neighbor's new recruit. And rest assured, if I ever need to remember it, I will. SY 920 is one of my regular stops, so I already have the necessary approvals. Neva says you're after a piece of UC tech. So to get it, we're going to need to get you on board. I can do that, but I have conditions. Good. If I can be candid, for this job to work, we'll have to do this my way. We take my ship, and you're a member of my crew. But make no mistake, once you board, the risk is entirely yours. This route is highly lucrative, and sacrificing it is not an option. There's more at stake than just your route. We're determined to get on that station, with or without your help. I realize this is important to Delgado. I also know he would just as soon kill me to get what he's after. I'm simply setting boundaries to help protect my interests, while still serving Delgados. In any case, when you're ready, meet me at my ship. It's the Jade Swan. And make sure you're prepared for the long haul. Once you're on board SY920, you can't come and go as you please. I'd like to, but I need to keep a low profile. In my experience, the more people know about you, the more they have over you. True, but silence is a powerful thing. I find the best way to get to know someone is to watch them work. Talking just muddies the picture. Anyways, I appreciate the small talk. Delgado's crew aren't usually so chatty. But let's keep our focus on the mission. We can swap bar stories and share scars when we've got enough creds to buy the bar and fix the scars. We'll talk more on the ship. Accounted for. We are ready to depart. Okay. Hello. Yes. What? Nobody can stop the Crimson Fleet. All right, 
A few things to note. When we get to the checkpoint, UC military will be hailing us. Let me do the talking. Return your piece of cargo if you have to. Of course, I don't expect it to be. Rest assured, Delgado put us on this job for a reason. We're professionals. Well, that might say more about the rest of his goons than it does you, but point taken. Now, like I said before, once we take off, there's no turning back until this job is done. If you need to take care of anything before we leave, do it. If you want to ask me any other questions, go for it. All right, then get comfortable. We leave for SY920 immediately. All crew prepare for takeoff. Routing power to engine and grab drive. All systems go. We'll grab jump the SY920 from here. Don't worry about your personal ship. The fleet will make sure it's secure. You can take this time to prepare. Just try not to bother my pilot while they're flying. Don't worry, Captain. I've spent half my life walking and chewing gum at the same time. I can handle a little banter. Sounds like you're putting in a request for double duty. Captain, I retract my earlier statement. For the record, I don't even like gum. <laughs> Noted. Just get us there safe. Roger that. I'm the pilot of the Jade Swan. She's a good bird. Never gets clean. You've entered secure UC military space. Identify yourself or you will be considered hostile. This is Captain Juan Dai Yu, cargo class ship ID UC 7938, requesting permission to dock. Howdy. Identity confirmed. Prepare your ship for scanning. You're clear to dock at docking bay 2. Looks like we're clear. We'll talk more once we're docked. Excuse me. Captain Dai, you can fly the ship herself. Way better than I can. Okay, we're in. First things first. The station is enormous, with checkpoints everywhere. To get past them, you'll need a military uniform. And to get a uniform, you'll need to get to the barracks. There should be a way through the vents. You can get to them via the maintenance door downstairs. There's an intercom there as well, where we can make contact. Once you get a uniform, it should be fairly easy to find an elevator to the command bay. But if at any point your cover's blown, I'm gone. Very funny. But if you do get into trouble, try and use that quick wit to your advantage. Either way, for now, get on that station and find that intercom. We'll talk more then. Hello. Can I help? Something you need? Pardon. With the Jade Swan, loading and unloading only. Stay clear of the military barracks. Do your job, keep your head down, and we won't have trouble. Security on this station's always been tight, but now it's on another level.
Hold up. This area is for SY920 military only. Rules are rules. Can't let you in unless you're military. That doesn't sound like Commander Natara. She's the type to add more checkpoints, not remove them. That's true. It's almost more of a hassle talking to you. Then where are they now? And what or Sorry, no unit. I need to stop by a clinic later. You know what? Second thought. I don't want to know.
easy money. Leadership security has been beefed up. Even the checkpoints have checkpoints. Got patrol duty, huh? Beats standing on your feet, that's for sure. State your business. Logging and sin level clearance. Go on ahead. Your friend there have the same clearance? Our commanding officer sent us both, so yes. Then you're both good to go. You've been to the mess hall? Culinary specialist of Koi is a damn good chef. Might not be Jemison, but this ship is starting to feel like home. This is Captain Juan Dayu. Good. And no alarms or warnings on the comps. Music to my ears. If you found a uniform, be sure to put it on. That provides some cover. Don't know what you're after, but I'm guessing there'll be another checkpoint. This far down, you might need a clearance code. You've been spending too much time around Neva. Violence is a tool for the Atlas and Brutish. This station has a lot of old arteries. The blood has gone dry, but they still connect to its heart. Look for a maintenance area that should open a path to the archival computers. Going dark for now. We'll talk again once you've located your target.
know you would say. You sure you have clearance? How are the tests with the comms by doing? Dr. Vogel has put in a request for more personnel. Not to change the subject, but are we concerned about potential leaks? No. Until you can provide more substantial proof, we'll simply monitor the situation at the cargo bay. For now, I've recommended to Dr. Vogel to contact me immediately if he identifies any suspicious behavior. I assume the two of you are together? We're from the same unit, yes. Then you're both clear. After you, Captain. Ensign. Right now, thank you. Three heels, if I may. <sighs> Intercepting transponder data in the Hoffa system might be promising. Wait, who are you? Why are you in here? Did you not see the sign? I've been studying decryption of all types for quite a long time. Probably since before you took your first crab jump. Signal protocol, quantum ratchet symmetry, interleaving data extrapolation. You name it, I've lectured on it. I've probably forgotten half of it. 
But I definitely knew it once. The comm spike. But I can't just hand it to you. It's a module for a ship. It's attached to a prototype in one of our docking ports. We're still in the testing phase, running decryptions across a variety of signal types. But the results so far have been very promising. It can even interpolate signal data lost in the retrieval. It really is a wondrous technology. Yes, it's not quite cracking the Enigma code, but it will give us a significant tactical advantage. We'll be able to infer everything from battle plans to meal consumption. Not that we'd care about that sort of thing, uh, outside of the effects of diet on combat readiness. And yes, there are certain kinks to be worked out, missing parts, and the occasional traumatic injury here and there, but it's all part of the adventure. Oh, it's ready. We're long past the inference stage. Statistical models can only go so far. And now that we've corrected the prior mishaps, it's time for real flesh and blood pilots to stress test the systems. The kind unafraid to make the necessary sacrifices. In short, I've requested a full squadron of these brave and fearless Marines to be transferred to the station. They'll give the prototype a final run, and provided there are minimal casualties, we can present our findings to Mast. Splendid. That was fast. I thought I put in the request this morning. Normally my requests aren't given this much attention, let alone haste. It seems a tad suspicious. Really? Well, then maybe all of my pestering has finally paid off. You're right. We do need to hurry if we're going to have this module ready in time. All right, you've convinced me. You're the new test pilot. You'll need a uniform and a terminal password to authorize a flight and get past Natara's cumbersome checkpoints. The uniform you can get in the locker room area, the password you get from me. You'll find the prototype ship at docking bay 8. Use the password to access the flight terminals in the control center. And of course, best of luck. You are doing science a great service by undertaking this sacrifice. Reporting for duty, pilot. Access granted. Be sure to head to the control center and schedule the flight. And good luck. Pardon.
With the change in leadership, security's been beefed up. Even the checkpoints have checkpoints. Last very long. Prototype ship, you are cleared for takeoff. We'll begin the test on your departure. Recording test flight data. Please adhere to the scheduled flight plan and let us know if you have any issues. Drive spinning down. Systems green. Docking cycle complete. This is exactly what I pictured a haven for pirates to look like. Well, well, well. Welcome back, Rook. Looks like you got a new toy for me. Need something? Rook.
nice to know Neva was right about you. It's good to have a promising rookie with the fleet. I won't deny I helped. Let's hope the compensation reflects that, huh? Anyway, I believe I owe you a drink. It's the last time I'm paying, of course. Because if Dalgado's right about Crix's legacy, you've earned more than your fair share already with that comp spike. Sounds like you're on board as a true believer. I have to admit, the way things are going, I'm starting to believe myself. Discovering Crix's legacy would solve one of the settled system's great mysteries. Oh, I'm as curious and excited as anyone to see what we'll find. Anyway, I've kept you long enough. Now that you've had your drink and my debt is paid, it's time for you to give Delgado the good news. You looking to start something? Well, it's... Jasmine tells me that you not only brought us the comp spike, but an entire prototype UC ship. I'm impressed, Rook. Very impressed. Should have taken the compliment, Rook. Dale doesn't give those out often. Juan gave us the full rundown of your little smash and grab operation. She gave you some really high praise. Said you were a pro. And from what I hear, receiving praise from Juan Dayu is quite an accomplishment. All in all, a job well done. Now, on to the business at hand. Jasmine, are you there? Yep, I'm here, boss. What's up? How's it going? I already have two of my crew tearing the ship apart from one end to the other. Comp spike shouldn't be too tough to extract. I'm looking forward to seeing what those UC techs have been up to. Keep me posted. All right, that leaves our electromagnetic atmosphere problem. And I think we've discovered a solution. There's a corporation in the city of Neon called Jennerdyne. They're responsible for the massive conduction grid that powers the city. We get our hands on their electrical absorption tech, and Jasmine swears she can tame it to handle Bannock 4. you damn right she can. My girl can piece together a jump engine with her eyes shut. Literally, I've seen her do it. Lost good money on that bet. All right, let's not get carried away, Neva. Now, why don't you give us the info on our Neon contact? You get to meet up with the lovely Estelle Vincent. She's had her deft little fingers on the pulse of Neon for some time now. Whatever info you need, I guarantee she can get. Estelle is one of the most reliable captains we have in the fleet. If I want something done, there's none of the typical bullshit. It gets done, and afterward, we all split the cash. Don't worry. When Grixis' legacy is aboard the key, we'll be splitting plenty of cash. Until then, I want you to do everything Estelle asks. Follow her instructions to a letter. She is valuable to the fleet. You piss her off and we lose her as a contact, you're going to be answering to me. Understood. We'll do our best to remain on her good side. Never mind her good side. You'd be better off appealing to her bank account. That is what drives her. Estelle will be waiting at Madame Savage's place. I'd say don't keep her waiting, but chances are she won't mind. Girl loves her liquor. And keep your eyes on the price. Neon's one big distraction for people like us. 
So I want you focused. We are one step away from Quix's legacy, and we cannot afford any screw-ups. Here to upgrade that. You've got stuff to smuggle. I've got the stuff to hide it. Sure. It's not like I'm busy keeping this rust bucket of a station from falling apart. Oh, yeah. Nothing like changing it up to make a ship feel new again.
I can lose three mobility by doing that, and then I can have full power on everything at all time. Oh. Where's my current reactor? I saw it. I saw it. I saw a reactor.
All right, Captain. Where are we headed next? Been hearing some stuff about the Mantis being back. Look, just fly to there.
Howdy. Yes? Hey. Remember to turn in any evidence fragments you find. It seems you had quite the eventful mission on your hands. You still have the Crimson Fleet's trust, and you were able to spare lives in the process. And on behalf of the United Colonies and Commander Natara, I thank you. I assure you, we'd never harm anyone from the United Colonies without provocation, Commander. Excuse me, sir. I hate to interrupt, but there's still the matter of the comm spike to discuss. Yes, of course, Lieutenant. Time is short, and we should get to the matter at hand. Please give me your report. That all depends on what you brought back from your mission. Aside from your eyewitness testimony, I assume you have the usual evidence that could lead to her incarceration? I can take it off your hands once we complete your debriefing. But at the moment, I'm far more concerned about the comm spike. Then it's just a matter of time before she reverse engineers it to fit the fleet's purposes. So what does Delgado have you doing next? Has he solved the Bannock 4 problem? The conduction grid? That's... brilliant. But is it actually possible? It's 80-year-old tech. Sorry, sir. The conduction grid is how Neon generates its power. It essentially absorbs lightning strikes and converts it to usable energy. It would take a hell of an engineer to modify the technology to handle Bannock 4's EM field. An engineer, like Jasmine Durand. That's the case. Inform our contacts on Neon that our operative will be touching down there in the near future. Absolutely, sir. And before you depart, I wanted you to know that your efforts are helping us gain interest among my superiors. They're finally beginning to believe that we can take down the Crimson Fleet and make amends for the UC's embarrassing mistake. The fact that our common enemy owes its existence to the United Colonies, of course. It was the riot at the lock touched off by Jasper Creeks that inspired him to create the Crimson Fleet in the first place. Thanks to your assistance, we'll be able to rectify that mistake, and MAST will authorize an all-out assault. You've already come this far, which makes you the most resourceful operative in SysDef's history. If we move in and attack the fleet now, we might not have the resources to bring them down. In addition, they're holding all the tech you need to get to Crix's legacy, so... The smartest move is to let you get to it, and then bring it to us. I'm confident that once Crix's legacy is in our possession, we'll get the support we need from my superiors to take the fleet down. All right. I suppose that's all for now. I'll be looking forward to your next report. Good luck. And please, be careful. The Commander appreciates the sacrifice you've made. Going undercover. We'll be here if you need us. Early reports say your mission on the Siren was a success. Contraband, and you can be. 
be on your way. Scan complete. Go ahead and land. See that shroud covering me on? Believe it or not, you're looking at the only city in the settled systems that powers itself from lightning. Looks like some sort of checkpoint ahead. It's probably designed to suck the credits directly from your pocket. as soon as possible if you know what's good for you. New around here? Hmm. Make certain that you familiarize yourself with our rules and regulations regarding the transport of Aurora. After all, you don't want to end up like Nishar, do you? Then you're going to have a very unpleasant visit here. Now, listen up. First and foremost, the interplanetary transport of Aurora is strictly forbidden. Anyone caught transporting the substance through this checkpoint will be arrested, fined, and jailed, if necessary. On my list of excuses for attempting to transport Aurora, that ranks a close third to I forgot that I had any on me, and I am holding it for a friend. The other regulation you should be aware of is that Aurora is only available for purchase in the Astral Lounge. Buying it from any other business or a street dealer is illegal. You will be arrested, fined, and jailed for participating in such a transaction. Perfect. All right, then. That's it. If you have any additional questions, let me know. Uh-huh. It's a bad place for tourists these days. You looking to get zoned? Yeah. Well, if I had a credit for every time I heard that line, I wouldn't be stuck working in this place. So, I'm guessing you're the rook that Delgado sent. Well, let me save both of us some time. Turn around, fly back to the key, and tell the big boss that I'm in no mood to screw around. We'll make this deal when he starts taking me seriously. And I'm getting tired of the fleet not taking me seriously. I spent the last three months setting up this job, burned two contacts and a hell of a lot of credits. The whole time, I'm also keeping Bayou off our backs. That idiot even catches a whiff of money and he latches onto you like a damn leech. The few times I've dealt with Benjamin Bayou in the past have been rather unpleasant, to say the least.
That's the way it's gonna be, huh? Fine. I don't have a ton of time to stand here and screw around, so I'm gonna make this as clear as possible. You want the conduction grid tech, then you're gonna have to download it from the power core of Jennerdyne's facility in the underbelly. Love the confidence. But before you pull the ripcord, I'm afraid I need to add a bit of a wrinkle. While you're inside Jennerdyne, I need you to plant a virus into their system. It's a simple side job that'll learn you some credits. I think you can handle it. That's because you're planning it for me as a favor. Jennerdyne has all sorts of tasty, valuable snacks in their databanks, and I want access. Here, take this microdrive and access the computer in Brayson Bayou's office. It'll do the rest on its own. And I suppose you're gonna head down to Jennerdyne and kick down the door? Wow, it's so simple. I can't believe I didn't think of that myself. Jennerdyne's got their place locked down tight, but... As usual, the weak link comes from the people that work there. I recommend you start with Ayumi Komiko, an upper-level exec at Jennerdyne. Get your hands on her security pass, and you'll have the run of the place. The catch is that Komiko's having a little fling with Benjamin Bayou. Anyway, you can find Komiko at Euphorico. Talk to the owner of the place, Micah. She'll point you in the right direction. As for dealing with Komiko herself, she's got an office in the Trade Tower if you're looking for something incriminating. The rest is up to you, Rook. When you're done, come meet me at the VIP booth in the Astral Lounge so we can celebrate. Just grab that tech and plant the virus. Should be a sink. Thanks for taking time to chat. I... I really need a friendly ear right about now. I received a message from Constellation, and it's given me a lot to think about. No, no, it's nothing like that. It's just a list of requests. Things I would normally handle if I was there. <sighs> but I'm not. I'm out here instead with you. You're not keeping me out here. I am. Just... Here, let me explain. Before I joined Constellation, I served for eight years as the head of the Navigator Corps, until the UC decided to axe the department. Yeah, I suppose painful is an appropriate way to put it. You see, the top brass demanded pressworthy discoveries to justify the spending, and money was tight after the war. Shutdown was inevitable. At the end of the day, I was in charge, so the blame obviously fell on my shoulders. Oh, like hell I can't. You once told me that you favored the journey over the destination. So I'm hoping you'll understand what I'm trying to say. I failed because I was more concerned about exploring the stars than pushing a pencil. If I had fought harder, I'm convinced our division may have had a chance to prove its value. That's just it though. Did I push too hard? Did they shut us down because I wasn't quietly sitting at my desk approving meaningless memos? We'll never know. Well, that brings us to this message now, doesn't it? Call it whatever you want. My drive, my initiative, my optimism. <laughs> it's been my greatest strength and my worst nightmare. It elevates me to these positions of authority, but all I want to do is explore, not sit and make sure the accounts are balanced.
Yes, exactly. If it's obvious to you, imagine how obvious it is to someone like Barrett or Mateo. Oh, they must be itching to replace me by now. God damn it. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. Oh, here you are trying to help me and I'm yelling at you. You have to understand. Once Aja retired, I lost the only person that gave a damn. Look, it's clear that you have feelings for me. It's just... I've never had time for this sort of thing in my life. Please, it's not you. It's me. I'm just not ready to get that close. I can't. Not now. But thank you for being there and listening. It helped. It really did. Renick's all in a twist because his robot got vandalized. We had a good laugh about it back at the station. <laughs> If Benjamin Bayou's ego was as combustible as Helium-3, he... I've heard that Benjamin Bayou has a private penthouse at the top of the tower. Hmm, the view from up there must be breathtaking. Yeah, what? Is this important? I'm really busy right now. Let me save you some time. If you're here for a job, we're not hiring. If you're here about the conduction grid tour, we shut it down a year ago. Good. If you were, you'd be the twelfth person I've turned away this year. What a waste. Look, I'm sorry if I'm blowing up at you. But I've got a ton of problems and no time to deal with them all. I'm afraid that things aren't going terribly well around here. I don't care if I'm allowed to or not. I'm happy to get this off my chest. The conduction grid went online almost 75 years ago. And since then, we haven't developed a single groundbreaking innovation. At this point, the money we're taking in as a power utility barely covers the waste that's going on in the Research and Development Division. Unfortunately, no. I'm in third on the corporate ladder. One step above me is Ayumi Komiko. She's the COO of the company. And then there's Kaito Harada, our esteemed CEO who never seems to be around. You'd think that, right? The problem is that Brayson Bayou, Administrator Bayou's brother, is currently heading up the R&D division. I swear to you, the man doesn't know the first thing about power systems or electromagnetic technology. Isn't it obvious? Administrator Bayou clearly leaned on Ms. Komiko to get his brother hired. It's nepotism in action. None whatsoever. Look, I'm running out of options. No one above me seems to care what's going on, but I'm willing to take a chance. I have a full report on Brayson that I want to send to Administrator Bayou, but I don't know if he can be trusted. 
What do you think I should do? You know what? You're absolutely right. I can't allow Brayson to run this company into the ground. Hey, look. Uh, thanks for helping me out with this. It's been on my mind for a long time. If there's anything else you need, any questions at all, feel free to ask. As long as it doesn't get me into serious trouble, ask away. Whoa. Okay, that's crossing the line. I can't discuss company matters like this. Maybe... need to think about it. Sorry, but... I can't. I'm not trying to make your life difficult, you know. Okay, listen. You didn't hear this from me, but I know she's up to something with Benjamin Bayou. He was in her office a few weeks ago, and they had some kind of shouting match. It got really heated until Bayou stormed out the door. I don't know what it was about, but I happen to know Miss Komiko keeps audio recordings of all her meetings in her safe. And before you ask, yes, I'll unlock it for you. Just don't tell anyone I helped, okay? I've only been working here for a few years now. And she's been my boss the entire time. Well, the big boss is our CEO, Mr. Harada. But I've actually never met him. He lives somewhere in New Atlantis, I think. Thanks for taking the time to talk. No time to chat. See what kind of information you can get off of that. Run to spaces, scumbags and scavengers. They're like vultures, picking away at them. Genodyne Industries welcomes you to our corporate office. Hope to see you again soon. Welcome, please. 
make yourself comfortable. I can offer you a drink, or perhaps you're here seeking access to our members' lounge, where you can enjoy your Aurora experience in peace. See, you just proved my point. Down your third velocity, and you're out cold. By the third no, chimera, you're No, no, not, not this down. again. You people know, should you leave her alone. What do you want with her? Yeah, I guess you're right. Where the hell did Micah learn to mix a drink like that anyway? Yeah, well, sure. Nice Tell me another one. Gifted. You debt collectors are low-life assholes. She's broke, okay? Now get out of my club before I get really pissed off and have you thrown into the street. No, <laughs> really. I'd like to see you try. The... the Crimson Fleet? Oh my, I I'm sorry. I had no idea. I didn't mean anything by it, really. Sorry, I just... Well, I worry about her. Ayumi owes a lot of money around town. I'm trying to help her out. But, you know, I have a business to keep afloat. If you want to talk to her, you can find her in the members' lounge. Of course, access to the lounge is going to cost you. And I'm not changing my mind about that. Excellent. Then here is your access key. Please let us know if anything in the lounge interferes with your comfort. You're always welcome here. You good? Yeah. What do you want? Uh, you must be zoned out of your mind, because there's no way anyone sober would say something like that. How the hell did you find that? It was Estelle Vincent, wasn't it? That bitch. I knew I should have kept that somewhere else. Here. Take this pass. It should get you through the storage room entry to the facility. I'm warning you, though. Once you're inside, you're trespassing in a high security zone. That means they shoot on sight. Good luck. You're going to need it. If you had to work with Brayson Bayou, <coughs> you understand. The man is still a totally incompetent fool, and he's running our company into the ground. The worst part of it is that he's Administrator Bayou's brother. So I can't fire him. I can't reassign him. I can't even yell at him. It's like having a cut on your body and you're helplessly watching yourself bleed to death. Except in our case, we're hemorrhaging money. If you get caught in Genardine, that's on you. Good luck. Hello. down here. Oh, how can these workers stand the smell of rotten fish and goodness knows what else? Yeah. 
loss of valuable tech disappearing from Genodyne to justify all the scrutiny of their own employees. a lesson.
Stop! Please! Don't shoot. If you want the encryption cipher, you're, you're welcome to it. There's no need for all this violence. Yeah. Gone. Look, there's no need to be angry with me. I, I'm on your side. 
I I'm not trying to trick you. You want the cipher? It it's yours. At this point, I'd do anything to get back at my brother. He deserves everything he's got coming to him. I think you could safely say that most of Neon would agree. You know, I've spent my entire life living in Ben's shadow. Everything always works out for him. While, I, while I've been bouncing from one job to the next, barely keeping afloat. And all the while, he laughs at me behind my back. <laughs> Thinks it's hilarious to make fun of his, his stupid brother. Like I wouldn't eventually find out. Tyrants like your brother eventually fall. It's inevitable. Perhaps you should just give it some time. That wouldn't do any good. For every scheme he's gotten himself into, he has a bulletproof exit strategy. The man's virtually immortal. Oh, that's true. He's a slippery man who can worm his way out of any legal situation. You know what? I am sick to death of being pushed around. It's my turn to take control for once. The passcode for my terminal is GEN-41A18. That should give you access to the cipher and whatever else you need. I'm getting out of here while I still can. After you're done, I suggest you do the same. Because he's a two-faced son of a bitch, that's why. That's not like I should be surprised. When we were younger, we... I never got along very well. I mean, he's 11 years older than I am. We had two different mothers. Might as well have been from two separate families. Well, that's an understatement. I never knew my actual mother. She was my father's mistress. And I was told she vanished from Neon when I was only two years old. Ben's mother, she didn't give a crap about me. Wouldn't even let me call her mom. I just had to call her Liliana. <laughs> Can you imagine? And then there's Dad. So buried in the day-to-day -day operations of Neon, he didn't have time to pay attention to his bastard son. Yeah, everyone's sorry. Just as sorry as I am. Look, I appreciate what you're trying to do, and, and it's nice to get this off my chest, but Talking about it isn't going to change a thing. That's why I gave you the encryption cipher. Anything I can do to stick it to Ben, that's the real therapy. Thanks again for the talk. It really helped. you are. What kept you? I believe we have a lot to discuss. It's obvious you're here to meet someone. Fortunately for them, they rented this VIP room under a false name. I assume that same someone provided you with that clever little virus you installed into Genodyne systems. Oh, I think you do. 
Please, don't insult my intelligence. You know, I should give credit where it's due. That virus is quite impressive. It will cost me tens of th That's the last time I'll ever take the Crimson Fleet. And I'm a businessman, which means I know when to walk away from a deal. You want to know? It's because I don't negotiate with pirates. They don't under... No. For your kind, it's only brute force and violence. It may seem that way, but for every rival I've had thrown into the ocean, I... Look, I'm not here to debate. All you have to do is tell me who's profiting from the virus you've uploaded. In return, you make my skin crawl, Bayou. Really? That's the story you're going with? Very well. There's a body that Neon Security is going to be discovering very soon. One with concrete evidence that links you to the murder. I'd say you have about one hour to leave this place before you have a price on your head. You'd have someone killed to pin the crime on us. Oh, you're a wretched excuse for a human being, Bayou. So, I assume this concludes our little arrangement, and you'll be leaving our fair city. Oh, when you get back to the key, be certain to give Neva and Delgado my warmest regard. in trouble. Sorry about the whole Benjamin Bayou thing at the Astral Lounge, but I didn't have much of a choice. Can you believe the nerve of that smug son of a bitch? The man is great. You're not the least bit concerned that he found the virus and figured out where we were meeting that quickly. Must be nice to be so naive. Yeah, I'm pretty much dead in the water. Since Bayou flagged the virus, I can't risk accessing the system now. All that work. Now I'm in a bit of a bind. The prep work for this job. I've been fleet for the last five years. You don't have to remind me that there's risk in what we do. Look, I was hoping you'd pick up on what I was trying to ask. What the hell with it? I'll just... Can you cut me in for a little bit of cash you're making on this job? I mean, I did get you inside and practically... She's right, you know. Without her help, you never would have found your way into Genodyne. I appreciate that. I really do. Have you... How much, uh, are you... Wow, that's 
way more than I expected. I had no idea either, but we do appreciate everything you've done, Estelle. All right, I... And hey, you won't be hearing Rook from me anymore. If anyone tries to tell you otherwise... I hear things are heating up. Rumor has it that don't. If there's even a chance... Just watch your ass. Benny isn't exactly gonna be tickled that you've been talking to his brother. Nothing like the velocity of the stabilized. Got something for me? Yes, have a look. All hell's breaking loose, Rook. Delgado needs you in the repair bay with Jazz as soon as possible. <laughs> Respect! That's why you're here? Look around you. The only reason all these losers are here is to earn credits or die trying. When I feel like you've earned it, I'll stop calling you Rook. Right now, we've got a crisis on our hands. Oh, it's bad, real bad. Delgado will fill you in with the details. Now get your ass to the repair bay. Go! Are you looking? 
looking to start something? Because I'll finish it. Look at the state of this place. It's amazing the key is still in one piece. And you are sure we will have those defense batteries up and running? No, 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 no. I'm not sure. They're in bad shape, Del. Really bad shape. I I'm already using duct tape and spit to keep the station from falling apart. And you want me to pull a rabbit out of my hat? I don't want to hear excuses. I want to hear that it's going to be fixed. Period. Get it done. All right, all right. I'm on it. You want to quit standing there and hand over the conduction grid data? Nothing you need to worry about. Stay in your own space lane and let Jazz do her damn job. Now, do you have what we sent you to Neon for, or not? If you're making a play for more credits, it's not going to work. Cut the crap and give the conduction grid deck to Jazz. Perfect. I'll get to work on this as soon as we're done here. All right. Listen up, because I don't want to repeat this twice. We've gotten word that UC Sysdef is massing somewhere nearby for an attack on the key. While we prepare for their arrival, I want you to head straight for Bannock 4 and bring Crix's legacy home. I have a very reliable source of mast. They were so concerned that the threat was real, they actually jumped the information out to us right away. No. I need you to stay the course and bring that money back to the fleet. Lay it out, Jess. All right, first things first. I'm gonna upload this data you snagged from Jennerdyne into the Keys databanks. All you need to do is build and then install a conduction grid module onto your ship. Oh, and if you haven't already, you'll need the comp spike module installed as well. While we're at it, perhaps we should fetch your groceries for you as well? Once your ship is ready, Jump out to Bannock 4, board the Legacy, and bring us the cash. Of course there's a catch. What, you thought this would be easy? After you board the Legacy, be on the lookout for two transfer modules. They're special keys that allow access to the ship's vault. Once you locate the vault's control center, Hook up the data core I'm gonna give you, and download everything they've got. And before you get any bright ideas, like running off with the money, that currency is going to be heavily encrypted. Only a genius like Shinya will be able to crack that encryption. So bring it back here right away. Yeah? I sure hope so. Look. I'm gonna make this real simple for you. If that money ends up anywhere but the key, I will hunt you down and pry it out of your dead hands myself. Now get moving. Now get your ass to Bannock 4. I need to get those defensive batteries online, so make this fast. Not a problem. Conduction grid data is all set up in the system, so it should be an easy install. All right, let's see what you need.
So, where to next? So there I am. You see security. Docking seal released. United Colony System Defense at your side. Pardon. All support ships have arrived, Commander. Good. After we're done here, arrange it briefly. I want all of their seals over here as yes. soon as possible. What? Yes, sir. There you are. Where have you been? I've received the reports about that stunt you pulled inside of Jenadai. Opening fire inside a civilian facility. Are you out of your mind? Jenardine is furious at us right now. They want Commander Ricande to resign. You always have a choice. People have died because you were too stubborn to find a safer solution. This is not how you see Sysdev operates. I don't care if we're one step away from Krix's legacy. If you do it again, you're off this operation, and I'll have Top throw you in the brig. It'll be my pleasure, sir. All right. I think we're all in agreement here. So let's get back to the operation at hand. It's time to put all the cards on the table and prepare to attack the key. Good. The more confusion and panic we cause, the more damage we can potentially inflict. Before you jump to Bannock 4, I need to make one thing abundantly clear. The credits from that Gal Bank transport cannot reach the fleet. You have to bring them here at all costs. If Delgado gains access to those resources, we might be touching off a battle we can't possibly win. We've been monitoring the Crimson Fleet's comm chatter in the Crick system. They're gathering allies by making promises based on your success. As much as I hate to admit it, you see Sysdev won't stand a chance. The fleet will become stronger and more unified than ever. Perhaps the UC should have thought of these potential consequences before incarcerating those people on Suvorov. Perhaps. But instead of spending time debating our predecessors' mistakes, we should be working towards a rapid solution. I've always known that when it came down to it, You'd do the right thing. All right. I guess this is it. Do whatever prep you need to do aboard the Vigilance, and then head out to Bannock 4. When you return here with Krix's legacy, we'll begin the attack. Good luck. During the end of the Narion War, the money was destined to bolster the Free Star Collective's coffers. Even though we were rivals at the time, and I suppose we still are to some extent, the credits still rightfully belong to their people. 
After the money is turned over to Mask, I'm certain arrangements will be made to return the money to the proper authorities in Aquila City. Stay focused and be careful out there. Has something on your mind? Hmm. Glad to hear it. Let's see what you got. Benjamin Bayou, pride of the Free Star Collective. The authorities there have been trying to nail him for a long time. Bringing us proof that he's been manipulating Jennerdine from the shadows is pretty tasty stuff. The FC will pay dearly for this. Good job. Have any more? Understood. Keep searching and you're bound to find more. Even as long ago as the Narian War, Gal Bank used an extremely potent level of encryption on their currency. Unfortunately, the unlock ciphers are lost to time. However, if you can bring us one of Gal Bank's old transfer modules, I know it would help. Don't worry, I'm sure some of the techs at Mast will be able to work with whatever you bring to reverse the encryption. Anything you can tell us would be helpful. Yeah, I heard they even sent word to some of the contacts you met. They're writing an awful lot of checks they can't cover without Crix's legacy, but we'll be ready for them. Anything else? Damn it. I was afraid of that. I'll warn our ships to use looser formations. Hopefully Durand isn't as clever as she thinks she is, or you can help us take the batteries down when the attack begins. Was that all? Okay, well, if anything else springs to mind... You come back alive. You hear me? Flea killed a buddy of mine. We hunt piracy all across the galaxy. Do what Commander Ikande says. Commander Ikande is the heart and soul of your success. What's this I hear about you? Follow him. Commander Ikande runs the tension. So I suggest we be on our best behavior. Well. Where's the brig? Nice work on the siren. You keep this up in this operation, we'll finally get the folks at mass to right? shift resources. Feels like we got maybe one more coffee. Yeah, uh... Drank too much coffee last night. That's what we should have done. Spending all this time with those pirates couldn't have been easy. Just hold out a little longer. We'll be back with the good guys. <laughs> I heard we might see some action soon. Can't wait. How's okay, the pirating hello. business? There you are. I was wondering when you'd visit. Should give us a little time to catch up. Well, of course, what choice do I have? Thanks to my own stupidity, my second chance to return to the Crimson Fleet is long gone. And by the time I get out of prison, any hopes I had to return to that life Will it fully disappear? I would argue that we're not on the frozen planet, sir. But you tracked in mud from your last mission. You brought in... Yes, well, apparently that's off the table as well. Dryden tends to shy away from rehiring convicted felons. Well, anyway, glad you popped by to say hello. Now, if you wouldn't mind letting an old man get his rest, I'd appreciate it. I suggest you take it easy, 
Tiberius. And if not, I will have the commander relieve you of it. Yes, sir. So you're saying I should be happy that you took me out of the line of fire. I have to confess, I've never thought of it that way. Last thing I intended to do with my life was go out in a blaze of glory on Neva or Delgado's behalf. But at the same time, my freedom's gone. So I'm not exactly popping the cap off the vodka bottle and celebrating, either. Ah, that's the last time I trust anyone ever again. Is anyone here? System oh. Marines are the best of the best. I have more people in him, Nick. <laughs> Salutation. I assume you're here to commemorate my terrible misfortune? Excellent. Excellent. Well, as much as I detest being the bearer of bad news, I have to disclose that you're wasting your time. You see, this imprisonment is merely an insignificant hindrance. I don't foresee being incarcerated in perpetuity. In fact, I would wager that my legal team will have my release expedited within the month. Oh, I assure you I'm speaking the truth, but there's no call for disappointment. Due to your actions, my tenure with Galbank has been terminated and several million credits in fines are being levied against me. The day is yours, Agent. You should be proud. Oh, yes. Forgive my indiscretion. I should have realized this was a demonstration of duty and honor. Nevertheless, my congratulations still stand. Well enough, idle banter. I've taken up more than my share of your valuable time. Honestly, this interaction has been quite pleasurable. Good day.
Bulb access requires an authorized transfer module. Do you have anything valuable? stopped using these decades ago.
I had an optional objective. It's gone there.
Make sure you check every entry. There might be some embedded data we could use to our advantage.
I have an important personal decision to make, but I need to discuss something with you first. Phew, thank you. So, where to start? Um, before I was with the Navigator Corps, I was career military, part of the United Colonies Navy. When the colony war broke out, I was posted as the chief navigator on a warship, the Dauntless. Well, the position didn't last long. There was a particularly bloody battle. We were fighting over a world in the Aeta Cassiopeia system. Worst fighting I'd ever seen. We lost 12 ships that day. 12. Including my own. No. This is important. I need to tell you this. The ship was barely intact. The captain and first mate died the previous day, which put me in command. A shrewd captain would have called for the crew to abandon ship, but I was so angry. I wanted to stay. I needed to fight. <sighs> I believe you, but you haven't heard the worst of this. We fought for hours, but the damage was fatal. I gave the order to abandon ship and the crew piled into the escape shuttle. As the shuttle launched, I could see it was damaged. I... I heard screams before the radio cut. The last thing I saw, they were... spiraling helplessly towards the planet's surface. There was... There was nothing I could do. You're sorry. For me? If I hadn't been so stubborn, so eager to prove that I could handle command, my crew would have had more time to escape. Try telling that to their loved ones. When the dust settled, the United Colonies gave me a medal. Can you believe that? A damn medal! I never even had a chance to find the shuttle wreckage and give my crew a proper burial. That's true. But still, it doesn't erase the real issue here. Remember when you said no one but me would have pushed harder to keep the Navigator Corps going? Well, this time, pushing too hard cost lives. Don't you get it? Everything I do, everything I touch, somehow falls apart. That's why I'm worried about us. After everything you've heard, all my stories, you still have faith. No one's ever cared about me this much. Not even Arja. You know, I've spent a lot of time thinking about us, about our relationship, how we've clearly become close. I practiced what I was going to say when the moment was right and now that it's here, my mind's gone blank. <laughs> uh, look, you deserve the best. Someone who can give themselves to you entirely. But right now, I have too much baggage. Too much on my mind. I hope you'll forgive me for pushing you away. I just need time. now. 
Let me find that computer. It wasn't this one back here, was it? Whatever it was.
to be trapped here like the Legacy's crew. I'm sure they had something we can use.
Crew recording initiated. Son of a bitch! Nothing. Complete waste of time. I've tried everything I can possibly think of and I end up right where I started. Oh. Fix my ship and get the prototype shielding back online. Second, shunt the power from the cred tank array back to the system to drain the credits. And then third, haul ass back to my ship before the EM field rips apart the legacy. Three easy steps, right? Only problem is, I'm stuck at step one. Every system on my ship is dead, and there's nothing aboard this ship to use for repairs. I can't believe I came all this way, just to end up stuck here like the poor bastards who ran this ship. <sighs> Actually... Wait a second. Isa. Isa will figure it out. I, I told her where I was going for a reason. She's smart. She'll, she'll know something's up when I miss the rendezvous. After all, she's supposed to split the loot. All I have to do is sit tight and wait till she figures out that something's gone wrong. And she'll come here looking for me. <laughs> In the meantime, I should uh, start rationing my food. I could be waiting for a while. Crew recording terminated. Beginning currency transfer. Please stand by.
Compression normalizing. Undocking complete. Something you need? Really? I'm surprised you have to ask. You gave Commander Ikonde your word that you'd bring Crix's legacy to the Vigilance and end the Crimson Fleet once and for all. And in my eyes, and in the eyes of Constellation, your word is your most valuable asset, far more valuable than what that data core holds. So you're going to have to ask yourself, is it worth selling your morals for those credits? Vigilance is an amazing ship. Oh. It's too bad Constellation can't afford something this impressive. 
The fleet started this war. We're gonna finish it. Damn fleet scouts popped up right when you jumped in. After all this sneaking around, we're nice score with Crix's legacy. Feels amazing. Commander Akande needs to have a word. My God, is that it? Is that Crix's legacy? <sighs> amazing. Ensign, take this and enter it into the data core analyzer. I'm on it, sir. You see, Lieutenant. I told you she wouldn't let us down. I have to admit, I'm impressed. Encrypted or not, it's quite a lot of money to be carrying around. The temptation must have been excruciating. Well, I'm pleased you made the right decision. I wouldn't have enjoyed having to task our ships to hunt you down. Now, on to other more pressing matters. We received confirmation that the fleet ships were scouts sent to probe our defenses. Unfortunately, one of them grabbed, jumped away before you arrived. Which means that Delgado will have the Crimson Fleet prepping defenses of its own. If Delgado's aware of our attack fleet, then we're at a tactical disadvantage. We have little time to waste. That's the plan. Lieutenant, if you wouldn't mind explaining our strategy. Yes, sir. The Vigilance is equipped with the latest in hyper-resistant shielding, making it the only ship that can safely approach the key. The catch is that the key has access to three orbital defensive batteries that can fire electromagnetic energy. One hit, and we lose those fancy shields. Our mission is to take out those batteries. In fact, I'll be personally leading the assault on Battery Alpha. I need you to be my support. Sadly, we didn't get as much support for this mission as I would have liked. There just wasn't enough evidence gathered. We weren't able to convince Mass to lend us additional squadrons. They feel like they've committed too many resources already. That means we'll have to take out all three batteries ourselves. It's unfortunate, yes. But we wouldn't be here if I didn't believe you could do it. We've also given you a call sign, Renegade, to help coordinate our movements during the attack. Once those batteries are destroyed, you board the key and bring Delgado to justice. You won't come quietly. You do what you have to do. I knew we could count on your support. Well, this is it. After years of planning, it all comes down to this moment. All my hopes and my best wishes go with you. Good luck. The commander's briefing wasn't clear. Good. The more you find, the stronger our case. That's a hell of a story. I still can't believe Crix ended up being marooned on the legacy. All that wealth, and the only thing he could do was stare at it. Can you imagine? I almost feel bad for him. Must have driven the guy crazy. Any other fragments? All right. Keep up the good work. Keep your nose up and your weapons charged. Let's put an end to this one. Good work securing the legacy. Sign Renegade! 
up to Battery Gamma. Captain, Go. our grab drive is fully repaired.
something, Toft? Ava's dealing with your flagship as we speak. I wouldn't expect backup anytime soon. Gives me plenty of time to blow your ships out of the void. All right, fleet! Triple share to whoever takes the traitor down! All ships, defensive formations! Just keep up! Stop here, then down on the surface of Suvorov.
Set aside anything useful and just leave the rest. You, you did this to me. I can decrypt and re-encode thousands of credits in seconds, but something as simple as this, I didn't see it coming. Not in the slightest. And now because of you, my bomb's been activated. Which means I'm as good as dead. Now that Sistef is here, the Crimson Fleet can't afford to have everything I know fall into the wrong hands. The moment the Vigilance arrived, Delgado pushed the button, which is as good as putting a gun to my head and pulling the trigger.
Forgive me if I don't take you at your word, since you've been lying to me from the very beginning. I've paid you well, treated you with respect, and kept trouble off your back more than a few times. Look me in the eye and tell me why you've allowed this to happen to me. You owe me that much. At this point, I can't blame Delgado for activating the bomb. If I was in his place, I'd do the same thing, without hesitation. Well, now that you're here, I don't expect that you'll stay and watch my rather spectacular ending. So why don't you just get out of my sight and let me die in peace? After everything I just said, you'd still be willing to help me. I must be a complete fool, because even though it makes no sense, I believe you. The only way to deactivate the bomb is through Delgado's computer and operations. You'll probably need his ID to get in. I don't know why you're helping me, but I sincerely hope this isn't another one of your tricks. <laughs> Came back to finish the job personally? Talk sense into me? You're the one who's lost their mind. What the hell happened to you? You had Krix's legacy in your hands and you gave it away. For what? For honor? Justice? Yeah? And why the hell does Sistef get to determine what is right and what is wrong? You know, when we were on Suvorov, I saw the potential for you to become a 
badass pirate. One of the best. And now you suddenly expect me to believe I have been fooled? The entire time? That this was some kind of elaborate game you have been playing? No. No way. For once in your life, be honest with me. Admit that you were tempted. Well, at least we know you are still human. It is obvious that no matter what I say, you have no intention of honoring our pact. You clearly never did. I have already locked down the key and set its reactors to overload. Soon, you, me, and everyone near this station are going to be vaporized. Let's see how far that loyalty to Sistef takes you now. And spend the rest of my life in the brig without a credit to my name? Why would I do that? <laughs> you got a funny way of showing your appreciation. Now you have the nerve to piss... Better a painful death I'm an old man, Rook. But by the time another chance... Sorry, Rook. You betrayed... Ikande must be so proud that he... A noble death, is it? Suit yourself! <laughs>
So you dis so you disarmed the bomb. Then, per our deal, you can tell your commander I will come. If you're searching, then make it quick. Excuse me. Your actions yeah. saved countless lives. You should be proud of yourself. Docking cycle complete. That was real impressive flying, kid. You earned your wings today. Thank you, sir. I was just trying to do my part. A lot of heroes on this. You know, I had my doubts about you. Which here comes one. Once now. a criminal, always a criminal. You know how it is. But then I asked myself, as spectacular as I am, can I do what you do? And the answer was an emphatic no. See, I'm a great shooter, but a straight shooter. And that wasn't going to win this war. What we needed was someone standing on their side with a boomerang gun. We needed someone whose bullets curved. No ride like a blind side. That's what I say. Anyway, you got a date with the commander. I figure he'll sprain something trying to pin the medals on your chest. But in all honesty, you deserve it. Good we should work have taking a out those pirates, when you have Renegade. The time, of Ever since we talked about the Battle of Cassiopeia, I can't get what happened out of my mind. I know, but that's not the point. This isn't about fault. This is about closure. Until I return to Cassiopeia, I'll never be able to put this to rest. I would like that. Actually, I need that. One problem, though. Pinpointing the crew's shuttle wreckage is going to be like trying to find a grain of salt in a sandbox. I think we need to start by locating my old campsite on Cassiopeia One. What's there to tell? I survived. My crew didn't. Still, oh, I'll never forget my finger hovering over that launch button. Would I launch safely or explode into a fireball? 
It turned out that my shuttle had just enough power to allow an emergency landing on the planet's surface. I wouldn't call what I did a soft landing, but thank you all the same. Hold on. I don't know the exact location of my survival campsite. For that, we are going to have to head to Mast and see if we can get the information from my old friend, Admiral Logan. Unless you want to search every square kilometer of Cassiopeia One, that's our only option. If we want the information, I'll just have to put my anger aside. I can do that, you know. Look, I hope this isn't asking too much. Last thing I want to do is drag you into some kind of personal crusade. Ah, <laughs> uh, thanks. I really needed a laugh. Truth is, I'm scared. When I set foot on Cassiopeia, I don't know if I'll be able to handle what I find. Ah, if I begin to fall apart, I'm going to need someone who can keep my spirits up. I know you will. You've always been there when I've needed your help. Why you continue to support me, I'll never understand. I don't know what to say. Oh, I, I've been so busy searching the stars for answers. I've overlooked what's been in front of me all this time. True love. Something I've seriously considered sharing with you for a long time. Just... not ready. Not yet. You're right. I have. Hey, um, anyway, I've taken up enough of your time. I know you have a lot to do. I really appreciate your offer to visit Cassiopeia. Hopefully, it'll bring me the closure that I've needed for far too long. Crimson Fleet is no more. We have you to thank. Great job. At ease, soldier. I believe congratulations are in order. With this decisive blow, the end of the Crimson Fleet is all but assured. But as much as I'd like to begin this celebration, technically we're still in the process of wrapping up the operation. On that note, Lieutenant, what do you have for me? Reports are coming in right now, Commander. Delgado is confirmed dead, but Shinya Voss has been detained and taken into custody. Also, we've transferred personnel to the Key to secure the location until the United Colonies decides what they want to do with the station. And what about Neva Mora? According to our reports, Neva led the strike force that attacked the Vigilance. Unfortunately, that was the last we saw of her. It looks like she managed to escape. We don't know her current whereabouts, but I have our operations team looking into it. That's fine. Overall, excellent news, Lieutenant. I have to admit, for the first time in seven years, I don't know what to say. How about you? I know that was difficult. You hanging in there? I certainly would have preferred to have reached a resolution regarding her whereabouts. After all, she was the fleet's second in command. Just watch your back. I'm fairly certain she's not going to simply forget what you've done to the Crimson Fleet. Let's not ruin the moment, Gillian. 
I'm sure our friend here is feeling quite pleased. Am I correct? You should be. What you've done to serve the UC in this short amount of time is more than most people could hope to do in their entire lives. If Mast isn't already printing up a batch of recruitment posters with your face on them, they should be. I've twisted arms and cashed in some favors at Mast. I wanted to make sure you got a share of the money you recovered from the legacy. Call it a reward, a token of appreciation, whatever the hell you want. But you've absolutely earned every credit. While it was satisfying enough to watch the Crimson Fleet meet its end, having an account brimming with credits is a pleasant bonus. Don't thank me yet. If it had been completely up to me, you'd get a lot more than they're giving you. Now that you're rich and famous, maybe you'll still remember us little people, huh? Decorum, Lieutenant. Damn, I'm going to be really sorry to see you go. You've really become an important part of our team. It won't be the same around here without you. Although, if you feel like staying aboard, I'm sure I could give you access to the SysDef mission board. That is, if... You can stand spending another minute with us on Vigilance. Excellent. I'm happy we haven't somehow frightened you away. Anyway, enough talk. You've earned a break, and I'm sure you wish to celebrate. Here's your promised reward. And wherever you might find yourself, my best wishes travel with you. Mission board should provide you with any intel on fleet activity. Mast will have the ultimate say, but we've petitioned to have it refurbished for SysDef use. But first, we'll need to perform an audit of the key's overall condition. Most of the repairs done to the station weren't exactly up to standard. If the site is deemed not up to code, we're better off destroying it. That would also have political value, given the embarrassing history behind it. For now, we have a strike team dedicated to sweeping the area for explosives. Once they give the all clear, forensics will come in to gather evidence. After that's done, then we'll start the audit of the station's condition. <laughs> it's a process. That's right, since you're no longer undercover, you now have full access to our mission boards, just like other special agents. I'll have to take your word for it. I don't like keeping secrets myself, although I understand the necessity. To that end, if you're in need of anything ship-wise, talk to me, and I'll have our maintenance crew take a look. No more bartering for scraps at the depot. You'll have full access to the best the UC has to offer. Certainly. How can I help you? Not sure it needs it. From our scans, your ship looks to be in perfect condition. All right, let's see what you need. Why isn't there a simple way to update the... ...reactor?
Reclaiming the key was a long time coming. Welcome to Mast. If you have an appointment, you may proceed inside. Sarah Morgan. It's been, what, almost ten years? Admiral, it's, uh, good to see you again, sir. You're not required to address me as sir. That protocol ended the moment you dropped your clusters on my desk, remember? Look, Admiral, I'm not here to open old wounds. Old wounds is an interesting turn of phrase, given our past. Listen to me, Commander. I'm not sure why you're here, but whatever it is, why don't you just get to it? I'm here because I need your help, Admiral. You need my help. That's interesting. The last time we spoke, you made it quite clear that you were turning your back on the Navy. That was a decade ago. Things change. People change. Admiral, please. I didn't come here to argue. I'm here to come to terms with my past. Your past is sitting in a closed file in the Archives. That's where you left it when you walked out on the United Colonies. And what about you? Just who in the blazes are you anyway? Very well. Then, as a good friend, 
Perhaps you could kindly explain to me why I shouldn't have the both of you escorted from the building. With all due respect, Admiral, this is ridiculous. If you have a problem with me, then there's no need to berate my colleague. I don't have a problem with you, Commander. I'm simply trying to determine why you deserve the Navy's help. That's quite a noble gesture. Is this true, Commander? It's about Cassiopeia, Admiral. I'm heading back there to find out what happened to the crew of the Dauntless, and hopefully, to bring their legacy home. That sounds like a dangerous operation. Are you certain it's worth the risk? I... I don't know. I wish it was that simple. If the Navy gives its blessing for you to undertake this operation, then we assume responsibility. And frankly, I'd never forgive myself if you didn't return. I appreciate the concern, Admiral. But that crew was my responsibility. No matter how difficult the risk, those men and women are coming home. I understand. And I believe I owe you an apology, Commander. Our last encounter has obviously distorted my impression of your character. What can I do to help? If you wouldn't mind allowing me to access the files regarding my rescue, I'd be most grateful, Admiral. That shouldn't be too difficult. I've sent all the relevant information to your slates. Was there anything else? No, Admiral. Thank you. You don't need to thank me, Commander. I just hope you find whatever it is you're looking for. We should make sure we're well supplied for the trip to Cassiopeia. Got anything on your scanner? You, madam, have a deal. I have things for you.
Feels like walking into a dream. Oh, thank you. Right now, I feel like I need all the help that I can get. Phew. Okay, so let me get my bearings for a moment. Yes, yes, this looks correct. Those rock formations nearby look familiar. My old campsite shouldn't be far. I will, I promise. <sighs> Once we get to the campsite, we'll use that as a starting point to search for the crew's shuttle wreckage. <sighs> Let's go. This is it. This is the spot where I spent close to a year waiting for rescue. Not exactly Paradiso, is it? Yeah? Well, inside I'm a shattered wreck. So, joke's on both of us, I suppose. Look at this thing. It's been sitting here rusting. I think we need to grab an emergency power cell to get the ship's computer up and running. <laughs> Cute. When I was stranded, I set up a distress beacon powered by emergency power cells. The beacon was up there on the plateau. I guess it's time to start climbing. Feeling the game's gonna crash soon. Like now. It's froze.
can't believe I'm here. I'm okay. Phew. Okay. Yes. Knowing that is the only... <sighs> Once we get to the campsite, we'll use that. <sighs> Let's go. This is it. This is the spot where I spent Cliff. Not exactly. Yeah? Well, inside I'm a shattered. Look at this thing. I think we need to grab. Sure, we have plenty of power cells on the ship, but they're not UC military grid. I'm afraid we'll have to do some. <laughs> Cute. When I was stranded, I th the beacon was up. This must be some debris from my shuttle. Not exactly a textbook landing, so I didn't have much of a choice. Oh, it's fair. If I get up there and the emergency power cell is one of I think I've got one. Oh look, emergency power cell. I'm sure I have something with exterminate or yeah. Is that the only one though before I
you're going to be carrying that gooey mess. Oh, for fuck's sake. I can't believe I'm here. Oh, thank you. Phew. Yes. Knowing that is... Ah. Ah, let's go. Have I really got nothing else with exterminator on it? Vista's 18.
Well, this is it. Not exactly. Yeah? Well, and look at this thing. I think we need to go. <laughs> when I was strand, the beacon was up. Jesus Christ!
We've located where the other shuttle went down. I can't believe our plan worked. Well, we're not there yet. But damn, it does feel good. Hmm. The telemetry data puts the wreckage out of range to hike. We're going to have to head back to the ship and land on a different part of the planet. Let's get going. Time to get the when you have a moment, I'd like to speak to you. Finally, we are getting close to the answers. I can feel it. Thanks for giving me a moment of your time. I promise this won't take long. I thought you deserved to know how proud I am that you chose to side with the United Colonies and put an end to the Crimson Fleet. You've almost single-handedly saved the settled systems from one of its most dangerous enemies. I can't possibly commend you highly enough. Uh, well, I'm not sure I deserve that, but I appreciate it all the same. What I want to know is what motivated you into making the right decision. You had Crix's legacy in hand, and you could have easily taken it to the key. Instead, you flew it to the Vigilance. Oh, well, I'm flattered that I have such a profound impact on your life choices. And you seem to know me quite well. So, no regrets betraying Delgado, then. I imagine you and he formed quite a partnership right up until the end. No, I'm sorry. I refuse to excuse Delgado for his loathsome behavior by placing all of the blame on his... Well, screw you! isn't the same as the real thing. There's something I need to talk to you about.
Thanks for giving me a moment of your time. I promise this won't take long. I thought you deserved to know how proud I am that you chose to side with the United Colonies and put an end to the Crimson Fleet. You've almost single-handedly saved the settled systems from one of its most dangerous enemies. I can't possibly commend you highly enough. Uh, well, I'm not sure I deserve that, but I appreciate it all the same. What I want to know is what motivated you into making the right decision. You had Crix's li- Oh, <laughs> well, I'm flattered that I have such a profound impact on your life choices, and you seem to know me quite well. So, no regrets betraying Delgado then. I imagine you and he formed quite a partnership right up until the end. Goodness, I didn't expect you to be so blunt, but I appreciate the honesty. At least things will be quieter in the spaceways for a while. I suppose my final concern is how long this newfound peace will last. Perhaps. My only concern are the reports that Neva Mora was never captured or killed. My hope is that she was smart and went into permanent exile. I suppose only time will tell. Oh. Well, it appears I've soured the mood of our lovely conversation. I trust my mindless prattle hasn't been too much of a bother. <laughs> Thanks for taking the time to listen. Plenty of organic materials to harvest in this world. Pleasant circumstances. It's no time to appreciate the beauty it has to offer. what's left of the cruise shuttle but it looks like parts were scavenged and dragged somewhere else could there have been survivors
fire is still fresh. Is there someone here that's still alive? Stop. I'll shoot if I have to. Just turn around and, and leave. I know how to use this thing, and I will. Oh, my God. Who are you? I'm nobody. Just go away. I'm not going to let anyone take my stuff again. No way. Both of you, just go! Hey, I'm not stupid. Last time people were here, they promised to help. They ended up tricking me. They stole all of my good stuff and left me behind. I'm not going to let that happen ever again. Yeah, sure. Try and trick me. No, no way. I I'm not getting fooled again. Forget it. Stop it right now. Put away that gun and talk to us. We want to know what happened here. See? You're not nice at all. I knew it. You're a liar. That's all grown-ups do is lie. Sorry. Sorry. <clears throat> I was wrong to get so angry. We are here to help you, and we promise to tell the truth. I don't know. You're kind of scaring me. Why should I listen to you? The crew? No one's been looking for that crew since before I was born. So tell me another lie. Go ahead. You were born here. Hold on. Oh my god. Your parents, your mum and your dad, what were their names? Jenna and Elias. Why? Jenna and Elias. Private Jenna Marsh and Corporal Elias Oberist. You're their daughter. Listen to me. I knew your parents. They worked with me on the Dauntless. I'm Commander Sarah Morgan. You're Sarah Morgan? Mom and Dad's captain? My parents used to talk about you all the time. It's like a dream to finally meet you. Yeah? Well, I wish you wouldn't have taken so long. My parents are dead. <coughs> My father died a long time ago. And my mother, she was killed by those, those monsters at the graveyard. It's just me here now, all by myself. Let me ask you a question. Oh, actually, I don't even know your name. Oh, yeah. My name's Sona. Sona. <laughs> what a lovely name. Sona, you mentioned a graveyard. Is that where the crew is, um, you know? Buried? Yeah. It's a bunch of stones with those necklaces, like the ones my mom and dad had hanging on them. Thank you, Sona. I'm going to talk to my friend here a minute, okay? Okay, Sarah. Phew. I don't even know where to begin. Am I? I feel like a nervous wreck. Oh, there's so much to process. But I don't have time to deal with it right now. If you want to help, then find that graveyard and bring me those necklaces Sona mentioned. I'm hoping they're my crew's gene tags. Oh, I'll be fine. It's you I'm worried about. 
Sona's monsters are undoubtedly hostile life forms that have claimed the graveyard as their territory.
So now, calm down and listen to me. It's much too dangerous to stay here all by yourself, darling. I don't care. This is my home. You can't make me leave. We can't leave her here. It's not safe. She has to come back with us to Jemison. Oh, I don't know what to do. Can you talk to her? You're awfully quiet. I know, I know. I'm not proposing we knock her out for God's sake. <sighs> Look, maybe you can talk some sense into her. Help her make a decision. I just... <sighs> I'm sorry, I can't do this right now. I can hear you talking about me. And I don't care what either of you say. I'm not going anywhere. Look, I'm clearly out of my element here and not in the right state of mind. Could you just talk to her, please? Why won't Sarah listen to me? That doesn't make a lot of sense. She's only known about me for a little while. That still doesn't mean I should leave the only home I ever had, does it? Mom told me there were really bad people out there. Worse than the ones I've already seen. But uh, leaving mom and dad behind... It's really hard. Even though they're dead, I don't want to abandon them. Yeah, you're right. I never thought of it that way. I'm sorry I yelled at everybody. I know you and Sarah are just trying to help. I'm going to go get my stuff, and then I'll board your ship. Don't worry, I'll stay out of the way until we get... Well, wherever we're going. That poor girl. I hope we've made the right decision. I realize that, but there's still cause for concern. We're ripping Sona from the only home she's ever known and casting her back into society. It's going to be difficult for her to adjust to the changes. Wherever she ends up, just promise me we'll check on her from time to time, please. Thank you. Look, um, before we leave Cassiopeia behind, I wanted to say one more thing to you. Perhaps at the overlook we passed on the way here? I promise it won't take long. Let's go.
Look, before we head back to the ship, I wanted to tell you how much of an amazing gift this has been. You had to push me to come out here, and if I hadn't have listened to you, the universe would probably have never known about that little girl. You in deep thought or something? And I intend to repay you for that, even if it takes the rest of my life. You know, this is the second time I've been on this world. And until this very moment, I never stopped to reflect at just how magnificent it was. Oh, look at this place. This is the reason I'm out here, exploring the stars. Worlds upon worlds just waiting to have their beauty discovered. Shedding this burden of my past has finally allowed me to open my eyes, wider than they've ever been opened before. And it's all because of you. Perhaps. I suppose we'll both have to think about that for a while now, won't we? Ah, <sighs> well. I suppose it's time to bid goodbye to Cassiopeia once again. This time, under much happier circumstances. Now, let's head back to Jemison. I want to give those gene tags you gathered to Admiral Logan, and figure out what we're going to do with Sona. So, where to next? We have lived on. Apogee kick complete. Orbit steady.
Grav drive spinning down. Systems green. You are entering United Colony space. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Scan complete. You are cleared to land at New Atlantis. Grav drive spinning down. This is UC security. Prepare to be scanned for contraband. And complete. Enjoy your stay. I picked up something you might be interested in. How are things? I thought you'd never ask. Here. I don't mind at all. Go ahead. I served my time in the fleet, but were I a younger man, I'd be back out there now. Welcome back. Did you find your answers? And we did it for the child that was marooned there. A child, born from two of the crew, that survived the crash. After her parents died, that poor...
poor girl spent years surviving on that hostile world, alone. We abandoned her, Admiral. We let her down. I'm sorry. I had no idea. How could we have possibly known? Yes, of course. I think we can all agree that this was another unfortunate circumstance of the Colony War. What you'd call an unfortunate circumstance, I call a tragedy. You're absolutely right, Sarah. It is a tragedy. One thing that I can assure you is that the names of these men and women will never be forgotten. I'll see to it personally. Thank you, Admiral. Good luck to both of you. It's been an honor. Once we're done here, we should have a little talk with Sona. Poor thing's waiting for us at the lodge. spends a fortune to maintain the lodge, but I'd say it's worth every credit. Morale in the lodge has been measurably reduced. The exploration of an unknown planet can be a major undertaking. By building an out, it is even possible to set up multiple outposts. The blueprints you need to construct an outpost should already be... Hey, I've been talking with the others, and I'd like to get everyone together to say goodbye. You know, to bear it. Thank you. It wouldn't be the same without you there. I'll have everything set up in a few days. You go do what you have to do. I'll be okay. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine now. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine now. I need everyone looking out for each other during this time. You go do what you have to do. Oh, don't you I'll dare. Do what you have to do. I'll be okay.
don't wor don't worry about me. I'll be fine now. Constellation is no stranger to loss. Our own founder left on an expedition and never returned. It is easy to talk about the glory and excitement of breaching into the unknown, of... Lighting the darkness. But it is harder to stare into the face of the cost. That all of our progress is built on top of the lives of those who dared. And that we owe them the courage to continue our work in their memory. Thank you, Sarah. If anyone else would like to say a few words. Hey, <laughs> 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 Thank you. If anyone else wants to say something. I hope this is all okay. Between fixing things up and sending out messengers and getting all the paperwork done. Good. I... Good. Sorry, if I talk any longer, I'm gonna start crying. Um... I thought maybe I would come up with something to say, but I've... Chat for a bit? So Normally, I hate said, talking to people at funerals, I I would quote but, something well... That gave me comfort a long time ago. Is God real? You don't Probably believe in the afterlife, do you? I mean, this might be the worst time to bring it up, but... Existence itself is a mystery which yearns to be uncovered. Yes. What is goodness? Well, we all. Well, 
I've taken up enough of your time. But a participation in being. Everyone is in mourning. Where the diversity of the universe inspires awe and wonder, it exists. I have only seen death. I have lost people I considered so close. Pure, I am not sure I may only be understood as primordial and even. Thank you. Divine. Our essence is what hey, was imagined. You are by How are you holding up? And what we, we consider imagining and what we consider mind are in fact so it's, far beyond our understanding. It's not really going to hit me until later. Metaphors. Right now, I just tiny white caps on a massive searching sea. That's understandable. More, but People of just don't push yourself. We'll get through this. It might I feel like ev Thank you. I was really thoughtful, Mateo. We all have to get through this our own way. Does anyone Don't. else want to say anything? It almost feels wrong to be grieving. It's just easier to feel guilt, if you'll excuse me. I am told these types of gatherings are a sad occasion. No, I don't. I'm pro. I appreciate you verifying my analysis. Although, I am. If you would like, though, I can add some consult. No god in heaven that is curating a perfect ending. So it's up to us. It will take some time to adapt. I will note that feedback. Humanity is what truly creates our world. We are the ones that judge things to be good or evil, joyful or mournful. Let us take responsibility for it. Let us remember what we have lost. Walter, are you part of the house? I don't believe we met. Aji Mamasa, former chair. I wish the circumstances yes, well, of. I like to keep some things private. However, unfortunately, you know where I this isn't the first constellation funeral I've been to. I hope you don't mind me saying, but I feel numb just thinking about it. Exactly the same as when you met him, I bet. Oh, smart. You don't mentor someone like Barrett as much as you let him go and try to contain the... Oh, yes. I was Sebastian Bench's protege. Knew him, argued. Sebastian will be back tomorrow. Ah, yes. I officiated his wedding. Ah. Young, I bet relationships in Constellation are still messy, aren't they? It makes the losses sting harder. But I hope it... He never mentioned that. I suppose he didn't. bunking on the ship, but nothing is better than unwinding in your own quarters. We should probably talk. There you are. I was wondering when he'd come and say hi to me. Hello, Sona. I see you found your way to the lodge without any trouble. Yeah, it was kind of hard, though. All these people around. Never seen so many people in my entire life. They sure won't. They have to catch me first. 
It's true. You're one of the toughest people I've ever met. So, what do you think? Do you like it here, Sona? At the lodge? Yeah, this place is huge. I mean, I've never seen anything like it. You must be like a bazillionaire, Sarah. <laughs> oh, don't I wish. This place isn't mine alone. It belongs to everyone who's a part of Constellation. And I think it should belong to you too, Sona. I want you to stay here and make this your home. Whoa. Does that mean I get to go exploring with both of you? Or wait, do I get my own ship? Well, uh, Auntie Sarah can't exactly afford that right now, but she can provide you with the best exploration training in the galaxy. I understand. Oh, and don't worry, I learn real fast, so you better get ready to have another member of Constellation signing on for missions. I can't wait. Well, anyway, thanks for letting me stay here. I promise I won't let either of you down. I'm sure that you won't. Well... I think we should let Sona get settled. If you wouldn't mind, I'd like to visit the Colony War Memorial now. I want to, uh, to pay my final respects. Look at this. All these people, their entire lives distilled down to names on a memorial. I wonder how close I came to being reduced to just a name. I am proud. 
I was simply too foolish to realize it until you changed my perspective. And I care about you too. There's obviously some kind of a connection between us that I think we need to discuss. Just let me have another moment here, and then we can head over to the waterfall, so we can talk in private. Let's go. I've flown across most of the settled systems in all manners of spacecraft, and yet I still get sick on the NAND. When things at the lodge are too much, I love coming to this spot to just sort of, I don't know, melt away for a while. It's lovely here, isn't it? <laughs> I've been from one end of the settled systems to the other, but this place, this exact spot. There's nowhere else like it in the galaxy. I knew you'd appreciate it. I usually come up here to mull over some of the heated debates we have at Constellation. You'd be surprised how many decisions I've made on this very spot. That's actually why I asked you to meet me up here. <clears throat> I was hoping we could talk about something very important. I know you are. Just give me a moment. I have a lot I need to say. It's about my return to Cassiopeia. What we learned about Sona has been constantly replaying in my mind. Oh, maybe it sounds crazy, but that young girl's isolation feels like a reflection of my own life. Am I? I've spent my life surrounded by all sorts of people. Constellation, the Navigator Corps, <laughs> hell, even the UC military. Despite that, no matter how hard I've tried to make them a part of my life, they tend to drift away and disappear. I 
Are you sure? For all we know, it's in my nature to keep people at arm's length. Or worse, push them away. Yeah, sure. And who wants to take on that responsibility? You? Wait a moment. That's exactly what you're saying, isn't it? Ha! Huh. <clears throat> Sorry, I, um, I just need a moment to gather my thoughts. I know you want to have a serious relationship. You want to become close. So, if you're willing to take that leap of faith with someone like me, then I'm ready to do the same. You're something truly special. You know that? You've helped me conquer my self-doubt, my confidence, hell, everything. For the first time in my life, I feel complete. <laughs> and with you by my side, I'm convinced that feeling will last forever. You're the best thing that's happened to me in my life. I love you. Always. I received a message from my mother a few days ago. She's returned from another one of her sightseeing cruises. Don't go all quiet on me. Ah, oh, that's right. I haven't really spoken about her to you, have I? My mother lives in a fairly remote location, so we rarely speak. Tends to keep her out of my mind. Good. When I say that to most people, they look at me like I'm crazy. I don't think they realize how much control parents can exert on your life, especially when their dreams conflict with your own. No, we should have discussed this a long time ago. You see, both of my parents were diplomats working under the flag of the UC Administrative Division. After I completed my basic education, they signed me up for a one-year apprenticeship in their department, without bothering to ask. Look, I was 18 years old, fresh out of school, and I idolized my parents. I trusted them. I'm certain they felt they were doing what was best for their daughter. Who was I to argue? Hmm. Wanted isn't the right word. Demanded would be more appropriate. For my apprenticeship, I was sent to Sidonia. My job consisted of drafting political policies and arbitrating trade disputes. The silver lining of the job was that it allowed me to spend time exploring every square inch of Mars. I was swallowed by it. Months before the apprenticeship ended, I dumped my diplomatic certification and joined the UC Navy. Of course, my parents didn't approve. 
We had a huge argument that resulted in all ties being severed between us. Yes, I was proud of myself. For a while. You see, my father was... killed. During the opening shots of the Colony War. I returned to Jemison for the funeral and reunited with my mother. After that, we vowed to stay in touch. <laughs> Aren't you sweet? Always concerned with how I'm feeling. That's why I fell in love with you. Your smile, your caring. <laughs> it brightens even my darkest days. Listen, I'm going to be completely upfront with you. All this talk of family, it makes me wonder where our own relationship stands. <laughs> you mean that? You do that? For me? I've been dreaming about this moment and still... I don't know what to say. <laughs> yes! Yes! Of course! Yes! Ah, I just need a little time to think about the ceremony. I have some thoughts about how we should move forward. You know, I used to dream about finding the love of my life. And here you are. All I ever needed was you, right here beside me. Back, eh? How's it going? Only if it's one of your deepest, darkest secrets. How is it that you always know exactly what to say? Hope we can talk later. The one I saw running away from that crazy guy? Man, New Atlantis gets crazier by the day. You can't go in. You just can't. If you've seen Dad, something interesting, let me know. He writes me. If it pans out into a full story, you'll be compensated. Welcome to SSNN, where the news never sleeps. If you're part of the David Baron fan club, 
Try not to inflate his ego too much. He's liable to burst. Listen, I might be able to hook you up with some merch. Maybe get you a ticket to us. Sounds like you know him personally. Let's take a look at you. You... You're not from around here. My guess is you work, really work, for a living. I bet you have a story or two. I have a feeling about such things. Tommy? Tommy did something useful? So you must be the captain of the... Frontier? Rumor is, there was a firefight at a mining installation. I'm interested only in primary sources. So things you've seen and are done that are newsworthy. No hearsay. So, what do you got for me? Looks like some Crimson Fleet Brainiac figured out it's easier to hit stationary targets than dogfighting in the field. And you are an eyewitness with the courtesy to find us instead of being chased down. Refreshing. So what were the pirates doing there? It's not their usual MO. Tell them about the ore. That was quite a lucrative operation. Rare minerals, you say? That would be worth the price of admission. So what's your role in all this? Part of a tour group? Wow, an actual member of Constellation graces my office. Do we bow? Maybe smoke a pipe? So we've covered the basics. How about any harrowing tales of daring do? How'd a bunch of miners triumph? How heartwarming. Constellation banding together with some dusty miners. I like it. This is a good local story. Plucky miners band together and punch above their weight. If you ever get more stories like this, drop by. And take this to cover any incidentals, or other creative ways to pad out an expense report. If you have a new story for me, I'm very happy to pay your fee. What a sordid mess. We've got some other sources we've been interviewing, but I'd love to get your take on the record. So there was a mercenary company, the first, and they were involved in taking farmlands from Freestar Collective families. Extortion, death threats, murder, all of it. Is that right? Not going to say. I will never, ever give up my source. If anybody asks about you, they get the same answer. I genuinely don't know how people like that can live with themselves. So all of that? Terrible. But Ron Hope, THE Ron Hope, was involved with it at the highest level. All of that suffering was a plot to save Hope Tech from going under using the side effects of a fertilizer he developed. Let me be blunt. The other sources say you killed Ron Hope. Is that correct? And all that money didn't help in the end. After all of that, the future of Hope Tech is an open question. Their stock has already taken a beating. Not sure if it's going to go into freefall. Any comment? For what it's worth, I'm rooting for them too. Thanks. If you listen to the news, you'll definitely hear this. And, uh... Maybe try not to ice any more CEOs. Just a thought. You have another story for me? You certainly get around. I'm surprised that branch has any customers left the number of times it's been held up. But I thought the Rangers had finally managed to get a handle on it. 
I heard there was a standoff. That true? I hear the robbers are provided free of charge. All part of the service. What happened to the robbers? The Shaw Gang? You did what? I mean, you're well spoken. But a hostage negotiator? I'll do some research and make sure that checks out. These things are often... messy. Any customers or Galbank staff get hurt? That's really good news. Usually... well, it's a different kind of story. You were there. You were involved in resolving it. Any comment on the Freestar Rangers? Having another high-profile robbery in their own backyard is a bit of a black eye. Huh. That's really good to know. Stories like this always fire up public outrage and appetite. Thanks for the interview. And take this. You have that look in your eye. What's the scoop? Of course you are. Why wouldn't you be? I swear you're either a trouble magnet or something. So, Sista finally, and against all odds, really triumphed against the Crimson Fleet. In their own backyard, no less. How were you involved? What do you do for an encore? <laughs> so, the Vigilance went toe-to-toe -to -toe with everything the Crimson Fleet could throw at them. And somehow, almost miraculously, they captured the key. The key itself. I've confirmed that with many sources. Anything to add? Really? Hmm, I might have to fact-check that, but it would fill in some gaps. You have to feel good about how everything turned out. Commander Ikande is being hailed a hero, and Sisdef's popularity is at an all-time high. Your thoughts? I will make sure the story emphasizes that. People need to know that. And that's all I need. You really do lead an extraordinary life. And as a, well, possibly embarrassing personal note, thank God for you. You talk and get paid, I spread the news. It's a classic win-win. I already interviewed an ex-pirate about the robbery, but she was as reliable as good coffee around here. So you were there when it went down? What were you doing there? Well then, let's continue, Miss Not Really Relevant. Tell me about this Captain Petrov. I've heard he was a bit of an eccentric. What was your impression of him? You did meet him before he died? I would have loved to have seen it. I'm sure it would make a good story right there. No one seems to know exactly what was stolen. But everyone agrees it was valuable. Care to shed some light on it? Artifact, you say? I've been hearing whispers about those lately. Last question. About, and I'm quoting, a zoo gone wild. The other source swore up and down that alien creatures got out of their cages and went on a rampage. Please, please, please tell me she was telling the truth. It's got to be some aurora-induced hallucination. Some days, it is worth it to get out of bed. I love it. This is just a plain old good story. Check the newsfeed for it later. And here's your payment. My source is back. Here to report anything else? I'm working on an investigative piece about some of the businesses in the well right now. Trying to get a handle on how things are in that part of the city. 
I'm not sure the story will get off the ground, though. <clears throat> I asked the higher-ups if I could go down there for some interviews, but they said it's too dangerous. They'd probably be all for it if David asked. I have a feeling we'll see each other again. David Barron is the most famous journalist... I bet whoever came up with bad news travels fast wasn't taking interstellar distances into account.
and they are offline. The grab drive is up and running again. It's on out of hatch, and we're docked. Watch your backs. Their crew could be heavily armed. sure they had something we can use.
I know a few archaeologists back in New Atlantis that would give their left arm to be here right now. things for you. I have something for you. Can you have a moment? If you need something, I've got your back. Yes, have a look. We should get a drink sometime.
lifting off now. Achieving orbit now. Nice jump. We're right on target. Be advised, you are entering United Colony space. Please maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Scan complete. Go ahead and land. stop by the waterfall on this trip I could use a few moments to unwind it's good to be home Mateo told us about your pilgrims voyage you found it didn't you the meaning of unity Wait, say that again? Multiple universes? You can't possibly mean what I think you mean. Let's take a step back. This is everything we've been building towards, and the implications are a lot to take in. Could you explain the part about multiple universes one more time for everyone? Yes, I wouldn't mind a little more detail. And that's why the Starborn want the artifacts so desperately. They're the keys to unlocking the infinite. I don't even want to think about the physiological changes you'd need to travel between universes. Plus what it would do to the mind, enlightenment, or oblivion, like the hunter. You have the opportunity to reach the closest thing to your god that might exist. And you're second guessing it? One doesn't approach the afterlife without some trepidation. You're right. We have to see the unity for ourselves. I know this has been a lot for everyone to take in, but we finally have answers. Let's make the best of them. Uh, not to make a sharp turn in a grand tale, but I got the eye fixed up. Bruised, but still blinking. Let me know when you're ready to follow up on what it's seen. Do you got time for a quick chat? These last glimpses from the eye are from the farthest fringes of known space. Could be the only remaining pieces outside the hands of the Stargon. Catch a smile out there.
fortifications. Hmm? Oh, sorry. Gave up my room in the lodge so Andresia had a place to call her own. Everyone needs space to let their thoughts run solo. The eyes showing signs over another one of those big anomalies. Here, catch a smile. Ah, still need to leave. Draw the words another time, then. Captain, I believe your ship will perform more efficiently if you bring me on board. I have been idle here for a long time. I believe Barrett would describe this state as... bored. I will go wherever I am needed. Scan any promising leads? How do I get out to the water? No, not with you. If you want help, I'm here. You be careful, okay?
What? You should jump. Spin. That's still. Still only 18. at this place. It's just as we left it. You know, I've often wondered who keeps the lodge so meticulously clean. What did you want to talk about? Thought that was crazy? Try it in zero G sometime. I don't know. Hello, 
Complete. We're in orbit.
absolutely freezing here. I do not recommend extended exposure without our suits. Thank God. I figured if I talked myself worse on the comms, the cavalry would come. I was expecting some free star militia, but any port in a storm, I guess. You are a sight for sore eyes. Before spacers broke into the outpost, I was relaying orders for Lieutenant Torres. Torres ain't bad as far as COs go, but we'd have been flat out murdered if it weren't for the... And I can't believe I'm saying this, the UC Marines. So, and this is important. You see a Marine, don't shoot. They're friendlies. I never thought I'd live to see the day where the UC and the FC work hand in hand. Huh. Times really do change. Roger. So first things first, the makeshift infirmary isn't gonna hold. They set up on the ground floor in the security section. The whole place is on lockdown, so you'll have to find a way there. Talk to, um, uh, Lazama. He's the only thing between them and... Well, you get the picture. Here's hoping it's not just me still standing. Be safe, be bold. A dead soldier ain't no help to no one. We should have a talk, when you have the time, of course. So, I've given everything we've discussed a lot of thought, and I've decided I'd like Aja Mamasa to conduct our marriage ceremony. I knew you'd understand. So, with that settled, I suppose we just keep it a quiet ceremony? Just the two of us? Honestly, no. I respect everyone at Constellation, but this is part of my personal life. If it's all the same to you, I'd like to keep my personal feelings about us separate from Constellation. 
If anyone else had suggested that, I'd say no. But hearing it from you, I know in my heart that it's the right thing to do. I'll send her an invite and we'll see if she shows. Anyone else? Or will the three of us with Aja presiding be enough? All right, it's settled then. I'll send a message to Aja asking for her to preside over the ceremony. As soon as you're ready, let's head to Paradiso. <laughs> I can't tell you how much this means to me. I love you. Forgive me for pulling you aside again, but, well, there's so much to process right now. The Emissary, the Hunter, the Unity, an entire multiverse. I can't even begin to wrap my head around it all. I don't know where to begin. The fact that we are the origin of the Starborn. Humans literally reborn by entering the Unity. The same, yet different. <sighs> it's unbelievable. I feel like most of the knowledge we've amassed in the last few centuries about the universe has just been made obsolete. It's exciting, but we've made so many mistakes along the way. I worry about the damage we've done to ourselves. We've been pushing further and further outwards from our home, when we should have spent more time being prepared for the consequences. Our current problem relates closely to the nature of humans as a species. This rushed curiosity has led us to enter the Unity and become Starborn. But it has made a difference. Here we are, caught in the middle of some sort of needlessly violent crusade between the Hunter and the Emissary. You'd think that a technologically advanced society would have evolved past petty squabbling over something like the artifacts. It almost makes me wonder if entering the Unity has done them more harm than good. No, no, that's not it at all. When you pass into whatever lies beyond, we don't know what will become of you. Will you remember your life as you knew it? Will the hunger to collect the artifacts consume your life like it's clearly consumed the Starborn? I'm just as curious to find out what's on the other side as well, but that's not the point. As the chair of Constellation, I want all of us to have this opportunity to explore the Unity. It would be the pinnacle exploration of our lives. However, after we enter the Unity, we'll likely evolve. You and I, as we stand here right now, will essentially cease to exist. The honest truth is that, well, you're the love of my life, and I can't bear to lose you. I'm not sure. I'm guessing based on what we've learned. Even if I accompany you into the Unity, the question still remains. Would we know each other anymore? Even if we did, would we care? Part of what I do as Chair of Constellation is weigh the costs of our expeditions. And this one, oh, the cost is extremely high. Well, 
I do love you. That's why this decision is tearing me apart. Listen, I realize nothing that I say is ever going to change your mind or diminish the enticement of this incredible opportunity. All I ask is that you research the facts before you blindly stumble off into the unknown. Thank you. Well, I suppose I've ruined the moment again, haven't I? <laughs> I'm getting quite good at that lately. I'll let you get back to whatever you were doing. Just think what we discussed. I know I will. Anything valuable?
This is it. What, you think she's a spacer? She's the one that cleared him out. Corporal Lizama. UC Marines, medic. We thought we were done for. I'm... I'm... Oh. And meet the esteemed doctor. Musa, right? It's his party we're crashing. Mahoney's a machine. She's wasted on this rock. And this... Uh, what the heck are you guys doing here, anyway? Doctor. Doctor! Yes. I mean, yes. Astrobiology. We study non-Terran life forms in the settled systems. We, uh, seek to understand the various flora and fauna and search for practical uses. No. They've... They've been trying to take over the whole system. For months. Listen, we can't waste time. The Freestar CO, Lieutenant Torres, he locked down the complex. I'm not sure how long he can keep his troops safe. Last I saw Torres was on the third floor, near my office. Take this key and get to Torres. It should open everything except the security doors. Get to Torres before his men are wiped out. Good luck. junk. Scientists like here are said, good people. Someone's been taking out the space. Every one of them that died is a loss for all of us. I... I don't believe it. Are they all... gone? Thanks to the stranger, every last one of them is down. Some fancy work there. How many more are there with your unit? You got sniper support or something? Holy shit. The two of you did all of that. All in a day's work. We have to help Captain Myung. She's behind the barrier door. But she's not Freestar, Lieutenant. Our first priority is our men and our scientists. She came in to save us, Sergeant, when no one else would. 
I will not leave her out to dry. We were hours from being overrun, and then Myong and her marines landed. And they saved us. We were desperate, so we just welcomed them. Together, we've managed to hold the outpost. Why the captain came to our aid? Oh, you'd have to ask her. She's... something else. But, Lieutenant, there they you see. We can't... Sergeant, I am ordering you to help us save those marines. How? We got a security override key. If the Marines are still alive, they'll be by the other entrance. We all work together. We should be able to save them. Or die trying. They are soldiers that need us. Are you... up for it? We could really use your help. Let's do this. Here's the security key. You take point. The captain's down one floor. Hey there. Glad to see you again. These militia rats. They're better than I thought they'd be. Take what we can. Truthfully, we would still be pinned down if it weren't for them. Well, I'll be. Huh. You don't got the look of a Marine. <coughs> Certainly not the militia. Who are you? That there is some grade A manure. But I won't press, just glad you're here. Captain Myung, you see Marines. Veteran of the Colony Wars, the shield of Paduk Pass. Best damn Marine in the service. <laughs> and that loudmouth is Private Sai. If she wasn't such a hell of a soldier, she'd be polishing latrines for the next decade. You've saved lives here, and that is something I won't forget. Captain Myung. <laughs> You're a legend. I heard about you when I was working with the United Colonies. And you're here. My reputation precedes me, eh? I've always wanted to say that. I'm in the business of saving civilian lives. I figure this research outpost qualifies. If Mast found out, there could be a court-martial. The Captain and all her Marines. Well, we'd all be dead if it weren't for them. You lot may be Freestar, but you're ground pounders first. I wasn't about to let you all die ignobly to those rabid spacer bastards. War happened. Paduk Pass is a graveyard now. 
Lots of good soldiers, both sides, are buried there. Captain Myung held that pass for a week against the best mechs the Free Star could throw at us. When she pulled out, she blew up the whole damn pass. Took out a full mech battalion. Might have saved the entire Nera front. Don't believe the propaganda, Private. Paduk Pass was dirty business all around. You've got spirit. That's what we need right now. We've bought ourselves an old-fashioned stay of execution here, but it won't last long. The bastards are disorganized, undisciplined rabble. But they got spaceships and we don't. That means they can keep dropping reinforcements until they greatly outnumber us. Then the cowards will hit us. Hard. Which means they won't drop the reinforcements right on top of us anymore. But there's too many of them, and only one of you. No, we need a plan. I have a more immediate problem, Captain. I have troops and civilians in the field. If we don't act, the spaces could take them out. I can't abandon them. Damn it. What sort of leader would you be if you did? But we need every trained soldier to fortify and get the defenses back online. Mahoney said their last transmission indicated they were in trouble. If you could perhaps take your ship to the research camp and clear out any spaces. They went dark not too long ago, so hopefully they are still survivors. Just go quickly and safely. Oh, I will, but not right now, because I am starved. So, we will do that. And... We'll do this. 